Do we have any unfaithful slaves here? You profess the name of Christ, you've, you go to church, but you're not real. You're not a true follower of the Lamb. My exhortation for you is, deny yourself. Take up your cross and truly follow Him. Kill your own self-interests and put the interests of your Master before your own. Now gosh, we can, we can apply this in a million ways. I hope that the Holy Spirit is opening your eyes to see ways that you can apply this. I'm just giving you broad, I'm painting with a broad brush today. But may the Spirit of God apply this to your individual experience. If you are a professor of faith in Jesus Christ, be a real follower of Christ. Be a real one. Follow Him. Really follow Him. Take everything that He's given you. He's given you a life. What are you doing with it, my friend? What are you doing with this life? We're going to be called to account one day. And this convicts me probably as much as it convicts you. What am I doing with this life? Am I doing it all that God wants me to do with it? Oh my goodness. We need to live in light of judgment day that's approaching. Every day. Live in light of, the, of standing before the Master. I mean, if, if God would just strip away <laughs> this worldly haze that we live in and let us see with clear eyes the coming future glory, we'd have a lot easier time knowing how to live right now. But the devil's really good at putting up foggy hazes in front of us. Oh, may the Lord just strip that away and take the blinders off and let us see eternity and live full on for eternity. Oh, to advance the interests of Christ in this world. That, that may mean witnessing to somebody to advance the interests of Christ. That may mean serving somebody in the church when they're sick or hurting being there for them. That may mean spending time in worship of your Lord daily, singing to Him and in delighting in His presence, opening up His Word, developing a life of prayer. I mean, gosh, man, I, I, you can apply it, right? You know how to apply it. It goes on and on and on. But seek His interests. But thirdly, are you a faithful slave? Work on. <laughs> labor on if you're a faithful slave don't give up don't throw in the towel I know some of you may be tired of laboring for your Lord don't let the devil persuade you to stop serving Jesus Christ serve him with all of your might oh my friends serve him so that you're looking for his commendation and his praise Serve Him the, so that you're looking for His reward, not the reward of men, not what men think about you or what they're going to say about you. Forget all of that. I, we are so tied up with that. Ask God to give you deliverance from the fear of man and the praise of man so you don't care about that anymore. What you care about is your Master's commendation. Oh, if, if you are a five minus slave, seek to be a ten minus slave. Right? Right? If you're a five minus slave, say, from this day forward, Lord, I endeavor to be a ten minus slave. If you're a thirty-fold Christian, seek to be a sixty-fold Christian. And if you're a sixty-fold Christian, seek to be a hundred-fold Christian. Advance, my friends. Grow in godliness. Grow in the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because He's worthy. I want to leave you with a poem written by a missionary named C.T. Studd. C.T. Studd was a professional cricketer. In, the, in England, in the 1800s, he was famous. He was one of the best cricketers. Now, we don't even know what cricket is, but that, that's big, big uh, athletics over in England. And so he was known on the lips of everyone over in England. He was wealthy because his wealthy father had died and given him this great inheritance. And he took all of that money and gave it away. And he went to China to serve as a missionary. And later he went to Africa to serve as a missionary. And this is a poem that he wrote. Two little lines I heard one day, traveling a life along life's busy way, bringing conviction to my heart, and from my mind would not depart. Only one life, twill soon be past. Only what's done for Christ will last. Only one life, yes, only one. 
Soon will its fleeting hours be done. Then in that day my Lord to meet and stand before his judgment seat. Only one life will twill soon be passed. Only what's done for Christ will last. Only one life, the still small voice, gently pleads for a better choice, bidding me selfish aims to leave, and to God's holy will to cleave. Only one life, twill soon be passed. Only what's done for Christ will last. Only one life, twill soon be passed. Only what's done for Christ will last. And when I am dying, how happy I'll be if the lamp of my life has been burned out for thee. He did that. He burned out his life for Jesus Christ. And you know what kind of reward C.T. Studd received when he stood before his master. He was a 10 minor servant. I want to just close with 1 Corinthians 15, 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast. Be immovable. Always abounding in the work of the Lord knowing that your toil is not in vain in the Lord. 